Hello students today we will start with lesson number 3 of moral science that is friendship of books friendship of books means to make friendship with books it means that to read books and to gain knowledge understood to read books and to gain knowledge okay so let's start the lesson a little boy once went with his parents on a visit to his grandmother who lived in a quiet little town he felt very lonely because he had left his friends behind he would spend his time wandering down to the garden wall and feeling sorry for himself now the story is about a little boy once he went with his parents to visit his grandmother and they used to live in a little town and this boy this little boy is feeling lonely he is feeling alone because he have left his friends behind and now he is thinking what to do as you can see in the picture he is standing near the garden wall and feeling sorry for himself that there is no work to do and he is feeling alone one day he decided to explore the house means he went inside the house and moved here and there to find to do something so while he was moving here and there he came upon a room that was filled with books and magazines so a room was there it was filled with books and magazines having nothing else to do he decided to pull out some of these books to read so now he is not having any work and even he is not having any friends there so he decided to take some books and to read it he soon discovered a whole new world for himself so by reading books he have discovered a new world for himself the little boy found that the books told him so much about different countries about people and kings he found story books which delighted and amused him so he is happy now he is so much happy that he by reading the books he came to know about different countries different people and kings also so he is happy to read the books this little boy was lonely no longer so now he is not feeling alone because he had found his best friends who is his best friends his best friends is books okay when he returned to school he found that he knew so much more than his classmates so when he returned back to school now he is so much happy because now he is having so much of knowledge by reading books and that too his friends his classmate doesn't knows okay who had probably spent their vacation gossiping and frolicking so his friends have spent their time in vacation by gossiping means by talking about others and frolicking means by playing understood it is good to have friends and be sociable but think of what a famous writer once wrote so children it is good to have friends but just think about a famous writer once wrote that friends are thieves of time so what he have written friends are thieves of time now this is a proverb now what is what does this proverb means you all know it means that 
we use a lot of our free time to spend with our friends instead of doing other things isn't it we, if we are free what we will do we will spend our free time with our friends without thinking that you are having so much work of school and also that time tends to move quickly so the time will pass so fast that you will never know so much time you are wasting with your friends yes okay so you have understood till here now let us see next page if your friends take away too much of your time in only chattering and playing with you so if your friends are only chattering means talking playing only you all are doing this much things then they have robbed you of precious hours precious means of great value so they are wasting your precious time isn't it yes which you could have used more usefully so you can use your free time in doing your school work studies completing your books yes or no yes books on the other hand now if you read books then what advantage you will get you will get so much of information knowledge and even relaxation so think about it by wasting time with your friends if you read a books then you can get information of so many things you can get knowledge and even you will feel relaxed okay books are vehicles which can transport you through time and space to far off places so books are like vehicles it will take you time and space to far off places from reading about the characters in story book you can learn so much about how people behave and think so if you read a story book you will come to know about different different peoples and their behaviors so children ask yourself that do i know everything that there is to know your answer will be no no living human knows all there is to know there is no end to knowledge isn't it you can read any time you can read so much books and get knowledge whether you are a student or whether you will become an old person yes so children then why not start right away on a search for information the best place to begin is in a library so this is a place where books are kept under separate sections such as science literature history fiction and so on there is even a reading room for newspapers magazines and periodicals so walk into a library choose a book and begin to read and you could involve your friends in reading with you at home so you can call your friends to come to your home and do reading reading books together will also give you so much to talk about exchanging ideas and sharing information will develop your mind and increase your general knowledge so if you and your friends will sit together and read books then you can exchange your ideas and share information this will help you to develop your mind and you will get information and general knowledge also
okay so understood till here now let's see next page are you wondering which books you should read ask your parents your teachers or the librarian in the school they could advise you on the books that would be suitable at your age so you can ask your parents teachers or the librarian in the school that which book you have to choose to read okay so children always find time for reading if you do not read you will remain ignorant ignorant means lack of knowledge means you will not know any general knowledge and you will soon begin to despise yourself for this so you will blame yourself only that you don't know any general knowledge so students to read is to know so if you read you will get to know knowledge you will get information okay so make it a habit and you will see that books are your best friends so understood children so this lesson was about friendship of books so what do you have learned from this lesson that reading is a good habit and you must read books to get knowledge okay thank you